Well, let's take note of Patanjali Foods. The company reported its numbers. There was a turnaround in the oil business, the edible oil business as well. The stock opened mildly lower. From there, it has seen a good recovery now at the high point of trade. And we have the management with us sitting with a gain of about a percent. Sanjeev Astana, who's the CEO of the company, joins in to discuss the numbers in detail. Thanks a lot, Mr. Astana, for joining in. You know, uh, the turnaround business, of course, was the edible oil business. So just a couple of details uh, is what we want for this business for this year. What is the volume growth that you're targeting here? And as a result of which, margin target as well. And more importantly, how have the prices been in the first half of this year? How do you expect that to be in the second half? So price, volume and margin. So overall uh, volume, typically this is a low quarter uh, sort of month that we have. So volumes actually have marginally declined. But uh, this our estimation is that the volume growth uh, that we target uh, typically between 6 to 8%. We are pretty much on course for that uh, during the year. Uh, so the next quarter, the festive season picks up, uh, the wedding season starts to pick up. So we will build up on that volume part. The price-wise uh, overall, the benefit that we clearly saw that uh, you know the prices were very stable during the during the quarter, which has helped us uh, sort of make uh, you know reasonable margins in the edible oil business, which are more prone to volatility. And uh, my estimation is that, uh, you know, our guidance for between 2 and 4% margin in the edible oil business, we should be able to pretty much uh, sort of stay within that range. And uh, we will certainly try and do better than that. So, for example, this quarter, we've done better than 4%. But uh, overall, if we can stay at 4 and better, it will be, uh, you know, very good uh, sort of, uh, you know, way of running around the business and growing that. Okay, lovely. Great. So we have got uh, color on that. Tell us a little bit about uh, the FMCG business. You know, you had the expenditure because of the ads to IPL. So could you quantify what is the total amount? And X of that spent, which I am assuming is one-off in nature, uh, what can margins look like? So the margins, uh, you know, this, uh, during the quarter, I mean, uh, they've had a slight uh, sort of tapering off, uh, you know, that we saw in the margin. Uh, primarily, this was on account of very exceptional uh, two events which happened. One was the, you know, the excessive heat uh, that we had, especially on the Indian specialty food segments like, uh, you know, chavan prash and ghee and honey, etc. Uh, that we expect uh, will stabilize. And the second one was the inventory overhang of the previous quarter when we had a pretty exceptional uh, sort of business that uh, sort of uh, came in, uh, which drove the prices, uh, you know, which allowed the inventory to build up and, you know, the there was not a sort of too much of evacuation. Uh, so this, we believe, is going to go forward, will stabilize. And uh, guidance, uh, pretty much that, uh, you know, 11 to 12% on a blended basis uh, for the overall FMCG segment, which is uh, comprising of uh, biscuits, uh, the Indian ethnic foods, consumer staples, nutraceuticals, and uh, Nutrilla, the soya products, I think will be pretty much uh, there. 11 to 12%. I remember you had earlier said that the food business uh, steady state margin would be around 15 to 16%. And one would assume that with the uh, home and personal care business coming in, the non-oil margins could be a lot higher. Why just 11 to 12 percent? Oh, no, no, no. So, so I, I think I'm just, uh, it's on a blended basis. So there are margins across the board. For example, our neutral margins are 16 to 18 percent. Nutraceutical margins are 25 percent. Our biscuits margins are about uh, 12 percent, which are consistently showing uh, remarkable growth. Our margins on the Indian uh, sort of specialty, uh, you know, foods like chavan prash and ghee, etc., are uh, you know between 16 and 18 percent. The consumer staples category typically is around four to five percent margin businesses, and uh, that tends to pull it down a little. But overall, with the expansion of the higher margin businesses, we should get pretty much in that category of 16 to 18 percent, which is what we've always uh, projected. Uh, so if you carve out and take this out, you know, about, uh, you know, typically, uh, you know, business run rate of about, uh, you know, on the consumer staples, then margin is pretty much in the 16, 18% profile. On a blended basis, I was saying that 12% is uh, what we can, uh, you know, aim for on the overall FMCG portfolio. And with the HPC portfolio coming in, they should tend to get closer to 16% on an overall basis. Final question, Mr. Astana, before we let you go, food business is around 30% of the mix. By when does it get to 50%? And by when do you complete the acquisition of this HPC business? Uh, so the answer to that is that uh, our stated strategic intent, which we declared last year itself, that uh, we want to get it closer to 50% uh, in four years' time. So we am reasonably hopeful that uh, between three and four years, the FMCG and the edible oil portfolio should be 
And uh, to the second question, our uh, application for the shareholders approval is already there, which we're anticipating that in three weeks time, we should have it with us. The application for the regulatory approvals have already moved and we are hoping between four and six weeks time, uh, we should have the business pretty much uh, in our fold. Just before uh, you know, we s uh, wrap this up, if you could give us a sense of what could be the contribution from this business in FI25? Uh, so FI25, on a, you know, this, if we get it for the two full quarters, for example, I'm mm -hmm. estimating that, I mean, it depends on how the sort of approval comes in, but uh, we should be able to add a top line of anywhere between 1,200 to 1,300 crores and a margin uh, base of about uh, 18% uh, within this fiscal itself. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving us all those details. Uh, 12 uh, to 1300 crores with 18% sort of margins coming in from the acquired businesses this year. Steady state uh, margins for uh, the consumer business between 11 to 12%, including, including consumer staples, and around 2 to 4% margins for the edible oil business, with 4% as the base, at least for the next couple of quarters. That's about Patanjali Foods. And we're out of time on this edition of Chartbusters on that note as well. And as we wrap up, let's tell you a quick programming note. At 11.40 a.m. today is a special discussion that we've lined up for you, where we will have uh, you know, gentlemen like Rajesh Bahi, Deepak Shanoi and Jimit Modi joining in on the regulatory red flag that have come by on the sharp surge in FNO volume. The clamor to increase the clampdown on FNO trading has increased. So let's talk about this at 11.40 a.m. on CNBC TV.